Howdy, it's Matt, and today is serious upgrade day. Now, as you can see, I've left my music playing. Let's press mute on that. Right, to bring you up to speed, uh, this model is from T9 Hobby Sports. Thank you, Richard, in short. Uh, not an affiliated uh, seller or anything, but uh, they were the only ones which had it in the UK for a sensible price. And I've bought loads of stuff off the Ghost Guys before, so uh, it was absolutely no brainer, including a replacement Tyrannus transmitter uh, as well. Right, so what have we got in the box and wh where am I going with this? Uh, in short, I have decided that I would like to seriously upgrade my slope soaring kit. Now, thinking about over, and I'll, I'll get this open, I think there's a switch coming around in here somewhere as well in the box, yes, uh, is over the last couple of years is that the one model which I've seen Andy chucking around in the sky, uh, or Andrew, should I say, uh, ah, Oh, I also got the upgraded switch, a uh, six-way switch from my Tyranna, so I will file that over there somewhere. Uh, is one of the models which has really stuck out to me, uh, and it was one which Andrew Horseman, and I'll put a link to his video channel, uh, his YouTube channel underneath uh, in the video description, uh, is that one of his models which has really stood out to me uh, was called the Weasel. Now you can't, for love nor money, oh there you go, that's probably a better one, uh, you cannot for love nor money get hold of one of the original ones because they're made out of balsa, they don't make them anymore. However, they do make this one which is a EP, sorry, an EPO model. Uh, it, you don't even want to know how much it cost me, uh, in short, and you wouldn't believe for the size of it how much it does cost. However, what I do know is that these models are absolutely nuts uh, in the sky. Now, uh, this is literally, the postman has been and turned up. I ran out there like a little schoolboy to go and get it. And ironically, this is infinitely bigger than the uh, weasel which you, with the, the original uh, little, uh, not weasel, uh, wabbit is what I'm trying to say, uh, or rabbit uh, wing. So let's put that one aside. So what are we getting there? Push rods, really nicely made push rods, which you would expect for a hundred pounds plus kit. Uh, let's get this thing opened and take a look. Now, it does come unfurnished, and I'm not sure, even sure we even get stickers with it. Uh, I will be putting some laminate on mine, but keeping it just on the leading edges, trying to keep the weight down on the model itself. And I will also be putting some black stripes underneath the wing as well to help with, just basically help with orientation. There's no other words for it, um, because I've seen how mental these little things are, and they are absolutely bat poop crazy, to say the least. Oh, that's the uh, battery bay. There's obviously no motive for this. This is a slope soaring model. Uh, I may, those magnets are very, very good, uh, although I may make another form of restraint for that lid because it would it would be mortifying if I lost that lid uh, and I may even put a switch in here on the side and permanently uh, glue, uh, seal down the lid itself and then put a charging port on the other side uh, as well so the lid never needs to come off. Uh, let's have a look what else we've got in here. We do get the elevator fin. Now, I will be putting some laminate on this fin as well. The reason I'll put, be putting laminate on the fin is because it's the one thing which will get um, taken on and off frequently, uh, and I'd like for that to stay in good condition. And also, it's the one most likely thing for it to fall off uh, on a unscheduled landing. Now, this kit is actually designed, and I'll get the wings out there open here as well. This kit is actually designed to be portable, to be able to be broken down. Uh, it was my intention for it to try and stay in one piece, although I may change that point of view when we take this out and have a look at it to see how transportable it is. Uh, if I remember reading the description correctly, there are some tiny screws which go up underneath the wings to bite in on the wing. So I push that in like so. And then you could, if you wanted to, uh, or, or maybe permanently do, is put the screw up underneath there to permanently attach the wing. Now, from a practical point of view, that would be nice per se if you were traveling, uh, but that's not the case myself. Uh, and I think all I'm gonna do is, uh, I will permanently yeah, fix that on there and I'll, 
I won't say that I'll glue the wings on, but I, the, the wings will be permanently affixed there um, because carrying that in the bag, in a flight bag, or just by itself at the slope is perfectly capable. It's not that big. And I don't really need to break it down, to be honest, because this will fit inside a, uh, what should we call it, a IKEA bag very, very easily for the slope. The one thing which I don't know what I'm going to do just yet is that it, the servo wise, we'll put these servos up underneath here, um, is that, sorry I've just tapped a power cable on there, um, is that I'm not entirely sure what servers I'll be putting in here. I did have some genuine fake Tower Pro servos turn up uh, yesterday and I can just get my ping, uh, phone ping in there in the background, uh, apologies for that. And it's that I'll probably use those and maybe recess them a little bit further into the wings. Uh, it does come with the push rods. It does come with, by the looks of it, some tape covering to go on top of that. Uh, I'm not entirely sure I will be doing that with mine. Um, we'll see in short, but I, one thing I will absolutely be doing uh, is putting some stripes, at least on one of the wings, uh, underneath the model, just to help with orientation in the sky. The, the one thing of what, which I know about these models, uh, those with the Weasel specifically, is that they are absolutely bonkers uh, to fly on the, on the slope, and there's no weight in this at all. I would probably say this kit, we're talking maybe 200 grams, if that. Uh, if we chuck in two servos for 12 or so grams and a battery and a receiver in there, there's not a lot of weight in here. Obviously, it will go up slightly when I put some laminate on here just to keep it clean uh, and also protected as well. Remember, I am gonna be flying this on a slope. That does mean that we're gonna be on the top of a hill. The chances of us landing in cow poo is extremely high. Chances of me stuffing it in the tree are probably even higher if we're being brutally honest. Uh, that said, um, does come with a fantastic little booklet, uh, and I did actually read the online version, which was, and that's how I knew in there about the little screws being up underneath the wings. Fantastic little booklet in there. Again, you would expect that with a premium quality model. Uh, as far as battery setup, I think I've got, which I took out one of my, again, I've, comp I, I've basically, I'm, I've decided that I've got a slow, oh, well, I'm spitting my words out. I have a slope saw in sight, less than 15 minutes drive away from me, and it's a really, really nice slope saw in sight. And the one thing which I was thinking about is that I have really enjoyed slope sawing over the past five or six years or so, and I've never really invested in any new slope sawing models at all. And it's a little bit frustrating, and again, it's just thinking back, I was seeing Andrew a couple of days well, last week when we went slope soaring, uh, and he turned up with some new models as well, and been really enjoying it. And that's one thing she has been doing is really enjoying slope soaring over the last past couple of years. He's a big slope soaring fan um, because you can fly for so long with literally no battery and really dial in those thumbs on the, on the sticks. And I was thinking about that, and then he's always turned up with some really decent, pre decent quality models, and always had the best fun on the uh, on the slope. Whereas I've been and turned up with, and I've been chucking like <laughs> trainers off the slope. But don't get me wrong, it's absolutely hilarious. And of course, I don't care about the model, which is really, really good. So you have even more fun because if you stuff it in, it really doesn't matter. Whereas the point which I'm getting to is that. I think it's about time, and I've got the other excuse which I'm using is my birthday coming up very shortly, so I am seriously upgrading my kit for the slope, and this is one of the upgrades. This is the Weasel uh, by Dreamflight. Now, I also have another Dreamflight model on the way to me. The only place which I could get it was in Belgium, and you're gonna see that in a couple of days' time, and if I thought this one was expensive, it was over twice the price of that, although it did come with a high recommendation from Andrew, and again, as you can tell, uh, I do appreciate and do take value from his point of view when it comes to the models. So with that said, I'm gonna get this one up and going. Uh, look out for a video from this one on the slope very, very shortly. Uh, I know they're absolutely nuts. It's an EPO model. It was very expensive for what it is, but I knew that going into it, so no complaints cost-wise. Very simple to set up, literally two servos, a receiver, uh, and a tiny battery. And I think the only complicated bit which I've got is that I will be putting some laminate on, laminate on here just to keep it clean because it won't be, it will be 
in windy, rough conditions and the chances, like I said, chances of landing this one in a bush, in a tree or in a cow pat are going to be really, really high just because of the nature of what slopes or in sites are like. So with that said, any questions, comments, let me know down in the comments section underneath this video on YouTube, and I'll see you again shortly. For myself, Matt, cheerios. Oh, by the way, before you go, uh, if you're new here, I'm Matt. Welcome aboard. Don't forget to press the subscribe button if you're new here, and of course, questions, comments, let me know below. Hit the like button, and if you hated this video, show your anger and press that like button twice. So with that said, for myself, Matt, cheerios.